figured I'd show this to you because this is a good example of what not to do. See these blueberries, how they've got reddish color leaves and green? That is a clear sign that the pH is wrong. I haven't had a chance to get out here and fertilize these yet. They're already starting to get blooms on them, but the pH is off. You can always tell by the leaf color. They're all that way. Every one of them needs fertilized and the pH lowered. The pH is too high. And with blueberries, it's really easy to tell because of the leaf color. They always got that reddish tint to them. So I'll have to get some Espoma UL30 is what I use. Usually about two cups per plant twice a year. I just haven't got to it yet. And this is the fix that I use. I've been using this for 10 years. This is Espoma UL30. It's actually made for hydrangeas, but it basically has the sulfur to reduce the pH. It also has um, kind of a balanced fertilizer. And I do two to three cups per plant. And I basically just use an old, what is that, 16 ounce sour cream container to measure it out. So I do usually two of those per plant. Sometimes I'll do three, but most of the time it's usually two. So let's get this done. When I'm saying two cups of this, they're not even really full cups. I've already got some on there. Kind of hard to do this one-handed, but I'm just going to show you. What I do is I just sprinkle it around on the ground. Try to get it all the way around. Then I go back. This is kind of the most important part that most people forget. You've got to work this in the ground. And I just use my fingers to kind of break up. Kind of got to be careful with blueberries. They're a shallow rooted plant. So you don't want to be like digging deep in the ground. But just kind of work it under. And then the next time it rains, any second now. Because that's kind of the reason why I haven't been able to get out here. It's either been raining or grounds wet or... Here we are almost in the middle, and we are in the middle of April. And normally I do this in March and again about the time they bloom. And of course they're bloomed now, so I missed the first one. But when we do get a rain in about two or three days after that, I'll try to get out here and show you how quickly this works. Because it'll be literally within a couple of days after it rains. They'll be right back to normal. So let me go ahead and shut this off. I'll get the rest of these done. And I'll bring you back for anything else I decide to add. Well, I got all the blueberry beds done. Can't really think of anything else. Um, good time to prune would have been actually before they started blooming, but I'm just going to let them go this year because I pruned pretty heavy last year um, where they kind of got overgrown while I was battling cancer. So I'm going to let them go this year. I'll get that straightened up here in the fall. Try to remember to get that done. Here's another thing I wanted to show you. See right there? More free food. I saw another one too. Right there. More free food. Asparagus. I got some videos on asparagus. I got some videos on blueberries. I got some videos on a little bit of everything here that I grow. So I'll try to link some of the stuff in this uh, video. If there's anything that uh, you have questions about, reach out in the comments. And uh, as always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.